Let's start with the downloading component for the data set. So once you log into the World Bank Open Data um, on the link provided in the Excel Project Word doc, in the search bar you'll enter GDP per capita. And as you scroll down through the different options, what you want to find is GDP per capita constant 2010 US dollars and click. Once you click, you want to then scroll down to the component that says download, click on the Excel file, and that'll uh, instigate a download into your computer. Next, you'll open your Excel file. And I want to give you guys a few pointers on what to do with the Excel file. Now that you have your, downloaded your Excel file and opened it, what you'll notice is you'll go into this blank screen, so it may look like there's no data. What you want to do is you want to click on the Data tab. Now once you have the Data tab, you'll have a series of um, country names in alphabetical order, and then years starting in 1960 going through 2019. So I'm just going to use 1960 as an example. So um, once you choose your year, what you want to first start by doing is you want to just delete some of these columns that have no specific use. Um, and now you want to sort by the actual data series so you can remove all the data points that don't have any information. So I'm going to start by sorting this column from smallest to largest. And you see we ran into a problem. And that's because I didn't state that these were titles. So then I'm going to go to... Um, sort, span selection, and I'm going to tell Excel that I have um, column headers, which is by clicking that button right up top and pressing OK. And now we have our data set from smallest to largest. And then we can go in and just delete all of the countries that don't have data. So 1960 there wasn't that much data, that's why you have a lot of missing information. So now we have our complete data set. Now that we've found uh, the data for the specific year of interest, what we're going to have to do next is we're going to copy this data set here. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste it into a new Excel spreadsheet. And the reason is when you download your data, what you'll see here is it downloads into a format called compatibility mode. And in that format, you don't get all of the features of Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and take that data set and I'm going to open a new spreadsheet and I'm going to paste the data set into the new, uh, uh, the new spreadsheet. So first off, let's talk about when you're creating histograms. So for histograms, the first thing you need is to uh, find the number of classes or bins in your histogram. And remember to figure that out, you're going to use the 2 to the k rule that we discussed in chapter two. Um, there's also a video that discusses how to create histograms in Excel. Please have a look at that um, as you get started with this project. Now, what about box plots? So Excel does provide a function to find, uh, to create a box plot. And the way we start that is we click on insert. Well, first we highlight the series, which is our column E in this case. Then we click insert and what we pick is this uh, icon where it's the statistical um, charts and you'll see it looks just like a histogram that's all shaded in. So you click that and you'll see you have the box and whisker plot option. Once you click it, it will generate a box and whisker plot. All you have to do is label your components. Um, make sure, however, you do include your test for outliers um, as well as your quartiles that you will calculate by hand, not through the use of Excel. Now, in your worksheet, when you, let's say, are going to be presenting this project, all your data will remain in different sheets here in Excel. But when you do your work, what you want to do, um, so you want to op open, let's say, your assignment. Um, there's Excel assignment one. And let's say we have, and you know, you want to do a little write-up. And here it asks you to create, um, where is it, a box plot. And you'll just 
paste in the box plot from Excel, which is something you'll do for all of the components. So that I have your answers here and also I'll have your work backed up in Excel. Hopefully the rest of the project will move on very smoothly.